So the first bridge was constructed in 1951. It was constructed by Delaware Department of Transportation. It was two lanes in each direction. Later on, it was determined that the traffic volumes warranted another bridge. They designed another bridge and they constructed it in 1968. As far as maintenance and operation, we have about 350 people that operate here and they're constantly maintaining that bridge. One of the significant projects that our pile drivers and dock builders are working on right now is the Delaware Memorial Bridge fender system that's being installed by R.E. Pearson Construction and their engineering team, S.T. Hudson. The DRBA contracted with us to put in eight protective fenders um, to protect the piers for the Delaware Memorial Bridge. We need more protection against an errant ship. So we're putting in four on each side of the water, 80 foot diameter cells. We call them dolphins. It's intended to be a sacrificial cell, uh, so it would arrest the ship's movement and stop it from striking the pier. It's backfilled with sand, so basically when a ship comes in, It'll either bounce off the cell or it'll come in and, and come to a stop. They're constructed of sheet piling and they go all the way down through the mud and they go all the way down into a dense sand layer. And then we fill them up with sand almost to the top. And then we put stone and riprap at the very top. The top facing also gets concrete panels in an effort to protect the splash zone to keep the steel from corroding over the years. This is a $95 million project, and it's actually in its first year of construction. When you look at the large structures that are involved in that project, and how they were erected, and how they're being set by our pile drivers and our dock builders, it's truly amazing. All right, what you see behind me is the first set of the cell. This comes in on a barge. It sits about 60 feet tall. We then take the pile that are behind you. They're about 150 feet. We pick them, we drop them through the slots that you see the piles up on the jacks right now. There's plates that go through the pile that are welded in. And then those plates will sit inside the tubing here, which was the temporary frame for the pile which will weld everything to the pile, and it all basically holds itself up on the way to the pile. We then pick the frame up off the barge, we'll push the barge out of the way, and we'll drop the cell into the water. All right, so this is our backfilling process. Um, it's basically just barges of sand that are coming in. We fill it up, as you can see over there, all the way up to the top. On top of that sand is a mat of rebar, and then it'll be a precast concrete that closes it up and seals it up. This job hasn't been done in the United States in like 20 some years. Uh, this is more of a European design, so it's, it's definitely unique. A lot of challenges, really just relies back on our training, all our certifications that, that go into getting a job done on schedule and on budget. Yeah, I started the company pretty much in 1976. Oh, we were small. I mean, it started out just a couple guys and we did small jobs uh, and never dreamt that we'd get this size. <laughs> but we just kept working at it, doing a good job, focusing on hiring good people, and it grew. You know, the guy that's running this Delaware Memorial Bridge job, he came to work for us right out of high school. We decided to put him into the dock builders training program. Our pile drivers and dock builders go through a four-year apprenticeship where they get sophisticated training. And here at this facility in Sicklerville, New Jersey, we're able to actually train them just like they're out in the field on a job site. Right here at our Hamilton Heavy Construction Training Center is an 80-ton truck crane that was purchased a few years back. We also have excavators here, drilling machines, where our pile drivers can actually learn real hands-on training. Because everyone's been trained the same way, if I'm welding one day and I have to go and do something else, there's another guy that can step in and weld. If I'm rigging one day, there's another guy that can come in and rig because we all graduate with our welding certs, our rigging certs, our signaling certs. It, it makes it easier to, to move everybody in and out. It's a team effort. The dock builders did a fantastic job of assimilating the learning curve. And now we're really in the groove and, and doing very well. Things I could do a year ago, that I'm doing now, 
I wouldn't even imagine it. With the foreman that you work with and the other journeymen, every day you learn more and more, especially on a job like this that's never really been done on the East Coast. They are going to finish by contract September 30th of 25. So that's not far away. The project is massive. I believe it's gonna take about 30 months to complete. But at the end of the day, the piers that support the Delaware Memorial Bridge will be protected from the large ships that we now see coming up and down the Delaware River. Had the collision prevention system that we are constructing at the Delaware Memorial Bridge been in place at the key bridge, that bridge would still be standing.